Hello and welcome to JustCompareCars.com. My name is James and today I'm going to be doing a walk around video of this 2019 on a 69 plate Nissan Navara. It's a 2.3 DCI 190 TT Tecna, manual gearbox, 52,000 miles and full Nissan service history with three services in the book. It's also got the remaining amount of Nissan manufacturer's warranty when new would have been five years or 100,000 miles. So there's plenty left on it still. Okay, so we've been doing these walk around videos for quite a while now and we find them to be very popular, mainly because it means you get to view the vehicle from the safety and comfort of your own home, but as if you were here today with me in person. As I walk around the vehicle with you today, we'll look at all the panels individually, looking for any marks, scratches or dints. We'll look at the wheels and tyres, looking at the tread depths. We'll have a look in the back and look at the roller shutter. Then we'll have a look inside the vehicle, looking at the seats and the functionality, media centre, etc. I'll even tell you what it smells like inside as well. When we've done that, we're going to pop the bonnet and have a look at the engine bay. And finally, we'll have a look underneath at the underside of the engine, the chassis and, of course, the spare wheel. Now, once you've watched the video, if you're happy with what you see and you'd like to go ahead and buy it, a small deposit will secure it and we can pretty much deliver it anywhere in the world. If you're looking to finance it, we'll go through an application with you, which takes about five minutes and we can usually get you a decision within around an hour. It's worth noting that um, it's a VAT applicable vehicle, so it's plus VAT. So you will need a deposit to cover the VAT in most cases. In some instances, we can look to get around that, but that's going to depend on you and your personal circumstances uh, or the circumstances of your business, obviously, and your financial history. Um, it's also worth mentioning while you're watching the video, if you think I've missed something or if you'd like to see something in a bit more detail, please just ask. Uh, there's nothing to hide here. and We'd rather show you absolutely everything while you're sat at home and comfortable uh, because we work on complete transparency. Right, let's start with the bonnet and then we can work our way around from there. Um, it's literally just arrived this afternoon. We've given it a clean and uh, it's straight here for video. Um, so hopefully you can see. I mean, the panel's in fantastic condition. Um, I can't see any marks or dents on it at all. And hopefully you would agree with that as well. Good luck make sure we're not missing anything now it's obviously it's a uk vehicle it's been on uk roads and it's black um there are stone chips there's not masses amounts of them don't get panicky but you know there are a few i will try and show you the ones that i can see so there's a couple here if you can see them i don't see they actually show up yeah there's one there look see that and there's a couple there And that's probably the worst of it to give you an idea right so driver's head headlight which is the more modern one with the black inserts they have got daylight running lights and they work perfectly uh, front bumper is in nice clean condition as is the grille and the passenger side headlight as well on to the passenger side front wing and hopefully you can see from that it's in lovely condition i can't see any marks or dints Everything's very nice and clean. Passenger side front wheel and tyre. You'll notice it's got the more modern wheels um, and they're in great condition. It's a Continental tyre. Uh, to guess, really, I'd guess there's about seven or eight mil. And the arch is in fantastic condition inside as well as out. Passenger mirror back, as you can see, is nice and shiny. No damage and the mirror's intact. Um, windscreen is free from any stone chips or cracks. Over the pillars first. Don't know why, some of these pillars are quite susceptible to damage. I don't know if the people put stuff on the roof or whatever. Obviously it's quite a thin piece of metal there and they are susceptible to dints and whatever. Nothing on this one, it's nice and clean, there's no damage. And the passenger side of the roof is nice and clean as well again no damage so before i go down the passenger side i always like to look at this view i'll do it both sides obviously uh, reason being is when you're looking at it like this you can see straight away there's no mismatch of colors and also there's no misalignment of gaps so it shows you that obviously it's a straight vehicle it's not been in any accidents right so let's go down the passenger side again i like to look at this view the reason being is when you're looking down the panels like this you can see any little minor imperfections and you can see if there's any dints 
and hopefully you can see from that there aren't any on this one at all it's in superb condition side step is also in great condition as well Look from both sides just to make sure we're not missing anything i don't think i am but it's worth a good look no there's nothing on it at all it's really clean onto the rear quarter And again, in fantastic condition. I can't see any marks or dints. Everything looks really very clean. Passenger rear wheel and tire wheels in great condition. It's a matching Continental tire. And there's a little bit less tread. I'd say there's probably about five or six mil, maybe a little bit more. And under the arch is very tidy. Passenger rear tail light, nice clean condition. No damage, no misting, no cracks. Everything's very clean. Rear bumper. And again, it's in very good clean condition. Um, can't see any nasty marks or dints. There is a little one there, actually, think about it. I don't know where that's come from, but it's there. Um, tailgate is in nice clean condition. I can't see any dints or marks. Let's have a good look. Can't see anything. There is a, so this is obviously a plastic spool across the top. And there is a little mark just there. I don't think it's gonna show up actually, but it is there. Um, I would say there's a roll and lock. I think it's a mountain top, although I'm not a thousand percent. It looks a good quality one anyway. I think it's a mountain top roll and lock. I can't be a thousand percent, but it usually says it here on a sticker. Obviously there's no sticker there, but it looks like one. Good quality anyway. Um, it's got the raised lip, which obviously gives it an added extra security. Let's see if there's any markings on it. I think it's a rolling lock, but I'm not a thousand percent mountain top, rather, sorry. So to open these, you do need to just, you can either use the button on top, which is locked at the minute, or you can use this. So to do this, you just literally do that. And as you can see, it opens and closes perfectly. So the mechanism's nice and tight, which is good to see. In the back, it's got the tie downs, all four. And in the back, you can see it's very nice and clean. It's obviously not had a hard life. It's not been towing anything. Obviously, it's got no tow bar. And in the back, it's very clean. It looks like, to be honest with you, it's probably been used as a car, which makes a lot of sense. So that's all good. So driver's side, tail light, again, really very nice and clean. No damage, no misting, no cracks, everything looks clean. Driver's side, rear quarter. And again, there's no nasty marks or dints. Everything looks really very clean. It's superb, isn't it, to be honest with you. Uh, driver's side, rear wheel and tire. Wheels in great condition, it's a matching continental tyre, matching tread depth the opposite side, about six mil or so. Under the arch is nice and tidy. Right, so let's have a look. So this side, again, uh, no mismatch of colours, no misalignment of gaps, everything looks spot on. Pillars. And there's nothing on the pillars. Driver's side of the roof. And again, everything's really very nice and clean and there's no damage. Right, so let's get down this past this driver's side. Words out. Same as the other side. Always a good way to look at it. And again, I can't see anything on it at all. It's really very, very clean. There's nothing on it at all. There's no marks or dints. Side steps are in nice clean condition. Being picky, there's a couple of little marks on that, but it's just obviously where you put your feet. Um, there's also a tiny little bit of a screw up there as well. Driver side mirror back, nice and clean, no damage. Mirror's intact. And then finally, driver side front wing and no shocks. It's in fantastic condition, the same as everything else. Driver's side front wheel and tyre, wheel's in good condition. There's no damage, it's a matching Continental tyre. 
matching thread depth to the opposite side. About six mil or so, maybe a bit more. So it's a full set of Continentals all round and they're all in good condition, so that's good to see. Right, onto the interior. Uh, it's worth mentioning, as long as you've got your key in your pocket, on your purse and whatever, you can press that silver button there. If you hear that beeping, it's telling me off because the key's inside it, but you can lock it and unlock it when the key's with you. Uh, driver's side door card is in nice clean condition, there's no damage. On the armrest, you've got your electric windows times four, electric folding mirror, uh, mirror control on there. And as you can see, everything's nice and clean. No surprises, the driver's seat's in fantastic condition. Uh, bolsters are nice and firm. And as you can see, the material's very nice and clean. And there's no nasty unwanted marks or anything. It's a fully electric seat. And it works as it would have done new. And all the functions are spot on and very quick. Also, if you watch this part here, you can press this button here and then that will actually increase that. So if you suffer from like a bad back or sciatica, you can get a really good comfort level of comfort using that. Um, got over mats all around and all the carpets are in good condition as well. Passenger seats. Do you see this a lot of vehicles now? It feels like they've never been sat in. The, the bolsters feel like new and the materials are very clean. Obviously, you know, director's vehicle, they may have bought this, claimed all the VAT back and the tax back on the fuel and then obviously offset it. Uh, makes a lot of sense to do that. And then obviously it's the good on fuel as well because obviously these will do, what, 45 to a gallon? Um, so yeah, very, very good. Dashboard, really very clean, very smart, well presented, no damage. It looks really very nice and clean, to be honest with you. Um, it's got the overmats, obviously all round six speed manual gearbox in reverse so once I start it up there's two keys and there's two uh, roll and lock keys as well to start it's just a matter of dropping your putting your foot on the brake pressing the clutch and then pressing the stop start button it preheats and starts straight away no problems at all so you can see, hopefully there's no warning lights on the dashboard other than obviously the low fuel level maybe. Is it going to say anything? No, maybe the fuel's not even low either. Oh yeah, yeah, low fuel. So there you go. Uh, so we can go through these. You see that you've got front facing driving aids and there's no warnings on the dashboard other than obviously I'm not wearing my seatbelt, the handbrake's on and the fuel's a bit low. But other than that, nothing else. Um, steering wheel is very clean. There's no unusual marks. There's no faded areas. Um, there's no stitching out of place. Everything looks really nice and clean. Horn works fine. On the right hand side basically is a cruise control, this top part, and then the lower part is voice command and also you can answer the phone and hang up from there as well. Or is it that one? It might be the other way around. I think it's that's answer and hang up. Uh, left hand side is, as you've just watched, media center. And you go through obviously your screen on the dashboard um, and you can go backwards from there as well and also you can use that for your media center as well and your volumes on there so speakers all sound good there's no distortion there's no crackling or rattling so obviously that's working perfectly um steering oh sorry media center sorry um, obviously, it's the updated system with a larger screen. It's it's a very good system, to be honest with you. It's a good system anyway, um, but in these uh, later ones, the TT, they are exceptionally good. Um, so let's have a quick look at the reversing camera first. As you can see, you get a much better um, high-definition image on these later systems. So you get your 360 view to the left, then your reverse image to the right. Now, if you click on camera, which is up here, you then get your left view and then your reverse image. Or if you press it again, it should give you the full reverse image. So you can choose which one's best for you. I mean, for me, I like that one. It's just simply for the fact that obviously if I'm on my own, I can't see down there. Um, you're not going to scrape your wheels. You're not going to knock a kid over, for instance, if you're reversing back. So I quite like that. Um, if you then, once you come out of that, it comes off. And then going to first, 
you'll see that obviously then you've got your camera with your forward facing view so it's not got forward facing sensors but what you can then do is park against a wall and know that you're not going to be damaging the front bumper so that's quite good if we want to map um much better system than it used to be it used to be obviously a smaller screen but it's a capacitive screen now so it works the same way that your mobile phone does so if you put your finger on it and move it it moves in real time or so you can zoom in and zoom out and it works really well on the older system it still did work but it was just a little bit slower um, so it's a much better system it works really well and as you can see it's very fluid um, we click onto menu and you can see along the bottom you've got lots of different options in your home screen click on settings you can see from here um, you've got apps um, you've got Nissan Connect and whatever else as well so obviously you know it's got Apple CarPlay Android CarPlay um, I believe you just plug your phone into it and it'll work so yeah that's all good and that obviously works as you would expect um, not a thousand percent on Apple CarPlay I think because Nissan used to have its own version so a quick look on the system um, 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 um. No, it's got Nissan Connect it doesn't say it's got oh yeah it has yeah Apple and Android CarPlay so it has got both that's good then um, so obviously it's got those and they work spot on as you'd expect but it's a decent media centre anyway um, let's have a look at the aircon so let's put it on to 16 aircon's on and put the fan on I can tell you that that works anyway I can feel it straight away it's got that really nasty you know that, that really cold bite to it instantly um, so yeah that works that works well it's too cold for this at the moment so I sort of switch that off um, heated seats in the front, let's try those. Um, obviously the passenger seats, obviously we've seen that, that's good. Uh, armrest in the centre is nice and clean, it's free from any damage. There's a 12 volt socket in there as well. That's your cup holder obviously. And then down below here is your USB and your auxiliary. Switchable four wheel drive, hill descent. Also you can lock and unlock the vehicle from there and as you hear, that works perfectly. Uh, the heated seats work as well, spot on. Um, roof lining. It is clean, it's free from any damage or marks. Um, it smells nice inside as well. Doesn't smell like it's ever been smoked in. Um, doesn't smell of anything really. Um, I can smell the seats, that's probably it. Um, seats in the back look nice and clean, but we'll have a look at that closer in a second. Um, I can't think of anything else to show you, but obviously everything works as you would expect. Um, if you think I've missed something, ask me. Um, you can see it's got the auto dimming rear uh, mirror. Yeah, so uh, switch that off. It's a nice clean truck. It really is. I would guess that whoever's had this has used it as a um, like a company car and just gone up and down the motorway in it. Um, down by your right knee, stability control, stop start, switch off your uh, fuel cap, trip reset, and then your clock illumination's all there. Driver side rear door cars, again nice clean condition, no damage, everything looks nice and clean. Um, all the bolsters, again, they feel like new. I don't think anyone's sat in the seats in the back. As you can see, um, they're in exceptionally clean condition throughout. Um, over mats obviously in the rear and the carpets are very clean. All the seat backs are in exceptionally clean condition. You see when kids sit in the back and they start kicking stuff and it scuffs them and stuff. I mean, you can see there's nothing on there at all, so it's really nice. Um, under the seats um, is your toolkit and all your kit, or your toolkit and your jack. Everything's under there as well, and obviously everything's in nice clean condition. It's worth mentioning we do specialise in pickup trucks and commercial vehicles, so we do have others on site. So if you're looking for more than one, just compare cars.com. They've all got videos exactly the same as this, so really in depth. Passenger door card again, nice clean condition, no damage. Everything looks clean. Obviously, just a confirmation that the seat and the passenger side is basically like new. Bolster's nice and firm. It's got the overmats and the carpet's all very clean. And then passenger rear, again, everything's really very clean. Yeah, all nice, great condition. Let's pop the bonnet. Should have done that when I was in the passenger seat, in the driver's seat, shouldn't I? Never mind. 
just there. Pop the bonnet. Um, obviously it's got full Nissan service and street, it goes without saying it's been looked after. Um, has it got full Nissan? I can't remember if it's got, it's got full history anyway, I, don't, I can't remember if it's full Nissan, I think it is full Nissan, but I can't remember. Anyway, let's have a quick look. I forget my head if it weren't screwed on. Let's have a look. Yeah, full Nissan service history. I was right, should have trusted my brain. There you go. So yeah, it's got full Nissan service. It goes without saying it's been looked after. It's been maintained exceptionally well. Um, that's the turbo unit just there. You can see uh, around it, there's no signs of any oily residue or leaking. Um, and also the same for the engine block as well. You can see there's no signs of any historic oil leaks. Um, the fluids are clean and to the correct levels. That's the same for the power steering fluid genuine battery it's worth mentioning why it's under nissan manufacturer's warranty if your battery goes flat take it back to nissan they'll give you a new battery as well so that's always worth remembering it's a really good warranty um, again no signs of any historic leaks around the engine bay and everything's really nice and clean and dry and we haven't washed this this is literally just as it's arrived obviously there's uh, evidence of that if you look out all over the shop I mean, there's bits in there right there obviously we clean that and it's just that is as it's arrived it's in nice clean condition let's have a look underneath again nice and dry under there you can see no signs of any historic oil leaks chassis is in great condition everything looks really nice and clean and dry and it's obviously been well maintained rear diff is again in great condition really nice and clean and dry no signs of any oily leaks uh, spare wheel is steel and it's got a continental tire so it's got five continental tires all in good condition okay so to summarize it i mean the truck's in fantastic condition a couple of tiny little stone chips which are nothing um it's got uh, really good wheels and tyres all around, matching Continental tyres. It's got an expensive roll and lock on the back. Low miles, full Nissan service history. It's even got manufacturer's warranty left on it. Yeah, it's an exceptionally clean truck. Um, and it's obviously a great price as well, hence you're looking at it. Um, it's worth mentioning, have a look on our Facebook page. There will be pictures of this that you won't find anywhere else. Give us a like and a thumbs up. We would appreciate it or follow, whatever you call it nowadays. I'm getting old. Um... Yeah, have a look at the pictures on there. You'll find pictures on there you won't find anywhere else. It's always worth looking at. Um, but for the moment, thanks for watching and sticking with me. I realise I go on a little bit. Where are we at? 23 minutes. But at the end of the day, you look at it. Most people will travel a couple of hours to go and look at a truck. This will save you the time. You'll know that it's perfect before you've even left home. So thanks for watching and sticking with me. Really appreciate it. Take care. Stay safe. Bye-bye.